I'm told that scores like The Hunger Games and I'm fairly certain King Kong were examples of movies where you had to do the job in a hurry. And it was often a lot of music. Can you talk about the pressure of time in film scoring and how you create when the deadlines are looming? I've always felt that one of the things you get paid for and hired for when you're a film composer is to write well and to write quickly, if necessary. So um, that was, uh, although in the case of King Kong, that was taken to an absurd degree. Um, there were, I think I had to write just about three hours worth of music in five weeks. And we were, ended up recording and into the movie two hours and 48 minutes, but who's counting? That was, a, that was an experience that I was thrilled and honored to be involved with, but because of the time constraints, I don't think I could physically, at the age of 64, uh, do that again. Um, but writing quickly is something that, I, that I'm kind of comfortable with. I've always been a fast writer, uh, and maybe that's to my detriment. And uh, certainly, um, when one is writing more concert music type of work, it, it requires a different kind of time frame. And, and, you, and it's important to take your time a little bit indifferently. But I really do like writing fast. The Hunger Games was another fast one. I don't know, I just seem to respond well to tight deadlines. I like them. So is the orchestra, the traditional symphonic ensemble, still the best way to achieve emotional ends in film? No, I wouldn't say that. I think, you know, you can hear, uh, I think every film requires a different touch, a light touch. Sometimes the best solution is an electronic score. Sometimes the best solution is a solo vocal. Sometimes the best solution is orchestral. For me, um, that's, that's, that's the most important decision that, that a composer and a director have to make together, is what is the sound of the movie. The most challenging one for me, and the one that I'm most attracted to, is the orchestral. That is where my, my heart really lives. Did you always have that kind of dramatic instinct, or is that something that you've honed over the years? I mean, I don't even, I hope that I have it at all, but I, I feel like I do. Um, I think, to some extent, one either has it or you don't, to some extent. I, I think the thing that I've fought with, with myself, is uh, trying not to overwrite, and trying to support the movie, which is why I'm there to begin with, um, and not overwhelm the movie. And I find that I can reduce the, it's like cooking. I always think of it as cooking, where you take a sauce and you, and you make a reduction out of it. And I, a lot of times will take my first pass as a big complicated sauce, and then I put it through a strainer and reduce it to what I think is the, the most effective way to say what I want to say with the fewest notes. What part of the composing process is the most fun for you? Oh, I think without question the most fun for me is the very beginning when I'm by myself in, in my, con my control room and uh, I'm looking at a new movie and, it's a, and the, the movie's great and I, and I come up with something that I think is, is really working well and, and it's just kind of thrilling, you know, that, that moment of discovery and, and, and feeling that, wow, I've really solved this puzzle, I've written something, I've, I've written something, the kind of thing I've done a hundred times before, but I've done it better this time, a little bit better. The, there's a little more counterpoint. There's a little, the melodies a little more memorable. The orchestration's better. The tempos are, are unexpected. And uh, What would you say was your biggest challenge, either musically speaking or dramatically speaking? The Fugitive scared me the most of everything because I'd never done, when I first saw the movie, I realized there's only one person that should be scoring this movie. And it isn't me, it's Jerry Goldsmith. And I was looking at these different sequences and I thought, I don't know how to do this. And I panicked and just kind of wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and eventually ended up with what I ended up with, which was written in such a way that da 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 which where the string players had to go over a fifth and it became nearly impossible to play. So not only was I terrified about writing the score, but the first couple of hours when the orchestra was playing it, it sounded so dreadful, I just wanted to crawl in a hole. Um, that was the hardest, scariest thing I've ever been through. It all worked out in the end. And you got an Oscar nomination I for did, it. Um, which surprised the heck out of me. But, um, um, you know, they're all challenging, they're all scary. There isn't one movie that I'm involved with that I don't go through a period of, of great fear and insecurity about. You're now the artistic director of the Henry Mancini Institute at the University of Miami. Why did you want to do this and what does it entail? 
Well, I wanted to do it for the obvious reason of having an opportunity to give back. Um, I've had a lot of people give a lot to me in my professional life. Um, and I, th I think for a young film composer coming up through the ranks now, it's a harder, it's a different world than it was when I came up. It was more porous when I was coming up. It was easier to kind of get going and to find, a, find an opening. And to f now there are just so many hundreds of people in line for every job, it seems to me. If I can help impart what I've learned, uh, what's mattered to me, and my sensibilities to, to some, some young people coming up, I'm so happy and anxious to do that. I'm a, Henry Mancini was one of my gods, one of my idols. Anything, making music in the name of Henry Mancini or helping out in the name of Henry Mancini would be something I would always think without, do without thinking twice. What musical goals are still ahead of you? Are there things that you'd like to accomplish in the future? Oh my goodness, yes. Gosh, I'd like to um, succeed at the film score I'm currently writing. <laughs> That's one of the things I'd like to accomplish. Um, I'd like to write a string quartet someday, which I've been commissioned now, and that's, that's really frightening to me because <clears throat> it's really easy to hide a, um, a wealth of mistakes behind 85 or 90 musicians, but when you're reduced to just four voices, it's very revealing, so I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to improve my conducting skills. I've been conducting my own music in concerts lately, and that's been really fun for me. You know, I just want to hopefully continue to evolve as a musician on all levels.